Yeah, Keith, Keith, have you listened to that Danger Club podcast yet? <laughs> oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, my God. Previously on the Danger Club podcast. Fridge Fridge, it's a girl girl. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> My name's Pocket Meat John. I kick him in the ball. <laughs> Danger Club, come on, let's go. No, fat! Enough. You tried to escape us. This is not the way that you should be acting. Come along. Don't take this the wrong way, but I think maybe it's best if we keep Iker away from all of you. I've bought stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be undead. Did you not, Fulton? My axe. I'm gonna buy the world! <laughs> it sounds so dangerous. I'm so confused about who hates who now. The adventure continues. Hello everyone, oh, welcome back. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Turn that back down. <laughs> Carry on, it's alright. <laughs> Dan just yeah. blew my head off right then, just to let you know if you're listening. I'll tell you what, do a hello again because we don't want this bit. Don't want that bit? No. Oh, alright. Hello everyone, welcome to I've the adjusted it, don't Dan- you don't you adjust to my you normal place. Yeah, yeah, Jeez, yeah. I'm all losing right. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a hello's got to be spontaneous. We can't just you don't worry about you. I'll worry about the sound. Oh, you worry about yeah, 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 you yeah, worry yeah. about me. What you am don't I worrying adjust about you, then? Yeah. All right, you worry about me. <laughs> I'll right. worry about Drummond. Drummond, you worry about Ross. Okay, Ross, you worry about, about, Ross, about Scott. Easy. And Scott, you just keep us supplied with snacks. Don't you da na da na 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 worry about me. Da na na na. Don't 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 don't. Don't you da na da na na worry about me. About me. Da, na, na. When, when you, you walk you on by, when you call my name, Carrigo, Carrigo, Carrigo. Then I walk Car- on by, <laughs> Carrigo. I do not see you, <laughs> and I say la 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 la. Hello, everyone. <laughs> To the Danger Club podcast. <laughs> so I was looking back through the uh, episode order, uh, looking back right back to episode twenty, a matinee of life and death. Mm. And remember that? The one back? Yeah. That yeah. was when you finished looting uh, the Gilded Hands Thieves Guild back in Ilsurian and officially completed the Murder's Mark adventure. Uh, and now. All this time later, on episode 36, <laughs> you are about to set foot in the Gosmoth Ossery. So, thank you to everyone who voted for this to be our second adventure. They, uh, they thank you for your age, incredible <laughs> patience. It's kind of our third, in a way. 16 episodes. Yeah. We've had an entire sort of bridging adventure in the middle, but uh, I think we followed some interesting little stories with everyone there. So, we are going into this adventure with a, a more interesting party than uh, we maybe would have otherwise. Let's. I feel like I've grown as a person. So yeah, oh, thanks. I think so. I think we all. I think we all. Have, we literally all have. Uh, during this time or aged <laughs> well are we are we going into this uh, this new adventure I know Riz is the last game I think we played but uh, as a broken party is it, there's quite a lot of tension going into this dungeon isn't it not broken yet on the cusp on the cusp yeah I'm just waiting for the godsmith to break us. I did think, actually, when uh, when we were sort of peeking out at the tension and the conflict, we were having arguments through a shattered door in that hotel, weren't we? Yeah, yeah nice. we were. A lot of people were listening. Symbolic, yeah. Slimbalism. Mm. Well, what? But do you say slimbalism? Well, well, slim- I mean, slim- slim- well, I'm a sylph, so you see, I'm trying out sort of... you got to just slim- blag that like, well, sylph just sticking <laughs> an extra L into their words. <laughs> No, it's slimbalism. <laughs> I'm just going to the slops. Yeah, 36 slim-lism. episodes in, mate. You can't like try and. <laughs> Would anyone like get some sausages? Oh, no, don't don't fight the slistum. All right. It's just, I'm, not. I'm gonna go back and re-record all of Dark Michael's dialogue <laughs> yeah. now. <Yeah. laughs> so, uh, should we find Swirl. out? Uh, should we find out what lies in the uh, Goldsmith Ossery? Sounds like a good idea. Let's oh, do it. Yeah. off an adventure. Uh, okay. So we jump back in to the Augur Temple. Um, I'm afraid, I'm afraid that Shuffles is now dead. He was already dead, but now he's <laughs> dead, dead. Um, which is a shame. We've lost, we've lost so many. We lost Shappy R- LaRue. We lost Balls the Badger. Um, <laughs> like, Balls the... That's some really good names going on there. Yeah. And, so and, many... uh, uh, what was it, Fluffy? 
No, it was Fla- like, Scruffy and Fleabag. Yeah, Scruffy and Fleabag. That's them. No, they're, they're not dead. They're, 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 they didn't die. You no, I know, no, but I mean, there's, they've been, they've gone. I want you everyone to tweet them. if you are sad about any of the NPCs that we've lost. It's all going to be Fardine again. They want <laughs> yeah. Fardine back. Bring back yeah. Fardine. Fardine. Well, they, they, they never died. Hashtag. Hashtag he never died. Hashtag. No, he but I mean, as in, like, bring him Yet. back into... Yeah, right. Yeah, Fardine. He will, he will come back. Fardine, I mean, end of campaign boss. His mini bosses are Scruffy and Fleabag. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. And I, I can't think that Shuffle's going to be high up on the list because he didn't actually say anything. Um, hashtag. No, it wasn't what he said. Back. It was how he shuffles. Yeah. Hashtag, uh, hashtag snuffles for shuffles. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. with uh, Freya um, in tow and um, being led by the priestess of Pharasma. Uh, gave you your mission, uh, Valenthe Narissia. Uh, you're making making your way back out of the Augur Temple. Um, as you are pro- as you are um, passing one of the alcoves where one of the large trolls is sat, the troll looks up and stares at all of you um, as if it's almost looking straight through you, and then reaches out and gestures towards you with a huge hand, just just as uh, beckons for you to come over. I, I see your future. Caragod disappointedly sighs for a minute. Oh, I thought you were going to say something oh. else then. Would you know what lies ahead for you? Yeah, that's the Yes, gas. please. The price is 10 gold pieces. Have it. Forget there you him. go. Don't. And oh. take, he takes the coins from <laughs> Fortnite. I will read your future Ooh. in the entrails. Um, You're going to use Fulton for that as well, because I'm all for He takes a large curved dagger oh. uh, lying in the uh, dust next to him uh, and then stabs himself in the stomach, rips oh. the blade across, and his, the, his guts just pour out in front <laughs> of him onto the ground and just lie there steaming. Uh, he then picks them up in his hands um, and begins staring at them. Um, and as uh, as he does, you can see already the sides of the cut are beginning to start start to close. Uh, he quickly gazes at them for a moment as they sort of steam, and just the smell is just awful um, there. And for a moment, he looks at them and says, You are embarking on a grand endeavour. Your grave is here. In Kermaga, you are a family of sorts, and one of your family will never leave this city. He uh, pulls the guts back into himself and the slit closes back up. There is one more thing. He beckons Fulton closer. This one he gets old. Reaches he- down and whispers something in your ear. The thing he whispers makes little sense to you at the moment, but at one point during this adventure, you may roll two dice and take the better result. So you have advantage on one dice roll at some point during this adventure, and it'll be because something he's just told you will make sense. Ooh, so you nice. get a little insight into your future. You've got a lot of guts. <laughs> good one, Em. Look, there's no need to troll the man. I mean, good heavens. That's, that's not so good. What? Uh, off. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been very helpful mm. to us. I was thinking of maybe getting a property here, so maybe it will be me that does not live. Mm, yes, I quite like the city. Hey, you can always change yeah. your future Last as well, night, anyway. You were really worried about being here. This is yeah, such a like, blip of... What? What? Yeah. Now you want to buy you a know, house? I'm just trying to make you feel better about yourself. You fuck off the fucking lot. You <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Whoa. I don't understand. What? What? What's <laughs> gotten into you, Shania? Yeah, why are you should I so have cranky? Still have, a, have, have you not noticed me be cranky before? Yes, well, yeah, but, but yeah, you're extreme levels of it. Look, 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 I think she's still a bit hungover. Let's give her a bit of time. It's all right. Sure. All right. Thank you very much, Em. Um, right. Freya, <laughs> is this where we leave you? Well, I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, take you down to uh, the bottoms, and then uh, I'll leave you when you get to the uh, the temple. I mean, hang on, where? Hang on. Do you do you? Have we got another guide? We have, haven't we? Narissia. Yeah, Narissia's with it. 
I'm still here. Um, yeah, you're all right. How, how are you doing? She'll guide you to the actual ossuary itself. I've never been in there. That wouldn't let the likes of me in the temple. Why well, not? Freya. Sorry, Em. I just... Why? Some people before that have guided us, or as they say, gid. Some people that have gid us before have, like, died. Do you know what I mean? When they were helping us down to a certain point. So, just saying, uh... Hey. Maybe you want to, uh... Have you got a badger? No. Oh. Why do you need? Do you, is that essential to this mission? You need a badger. No, it's no, like a not sacred at all. No, badger situation. Not. No way. No, no. I'm just saying, if you've got a badger, it might lead to your badger day. Although I reckon. Are you saying you'd possible. rather take it from here on your own, Freya? No, why no, wouldn't I, they let the likes of you down there? What do you mean by that? I ain't a worshipper of Phrasma. They wouldn't let me in that temple. Well, neither am I. Yeah, but we you're just, with the priestess. Yeah, so taking we, on the contract we're with being them. paid. Uh, yeah, right. they. Uh, okay, whatever. I'll tell you what, I'll meet you back at the hotel in a couple of days when you're done with the job. You can give me my uh, give me my 10% then. Mm. Cracking. See you, see you then, Freya. All right. See you later. Don't, like, don't keep me waiting. See you, Freezy. Stay, stay, well. stay strong, Freya. stay safe. Hello, Freya. You too, short sword. She smiles and then hobbles back off down the street. Um, the priestess, Noricia, takes you back through uh, the down market, back into the walls of Kea Marga itself and underground, and leads you to the southern part of the city. Uh, this area is still heavily built up, um, more ramshackled certainly than Bis. It's not an industrial area. You can see there are um, lots of... Um, uh, flags of and nation of Andoran flying around everywhere, and there are some slogans um, that say things like "No man a slave." Uh, you say you see a slogan. If any of you are familiar with the River Kingdoms, you see the River Law. Uh, say what you will, I live free. Um, is written daubed across some areas of it, um, and you don't see anyone leading. You don't see anyone in chains here. You've gotten quite used to seeing slaves around parts of the city, certainly around the down market area, uh, but you don't see any any around here. Uh, she leads you through these streets that are obviously quite buzzing. You can see there are sort of coffee shops and people talking excitedly, um, and you occasionally pass um, people on street corners giving impassioned speeches against um, against slavery. Um, and you see people taking collections along the street. You grasp, uh, if you ask um, Valanthry uh, about this, um, as you walk through, she tells you that um, the people at the bottoms have outlawed slavery um, and that um, they frequently raise money and journey to down market to purchase slaves, uh, which they then bring back here and immediately free. Um, and that's how a lot of slaves in Camargo escape their bonds. After a while, of pushing through these crowds, you arrive at um, a huge gothic looking temple. Um, it's made of black stone, has twisting spires going uh, up uh, to the top of the cavern. Um, you recognize the banners immediately, Shania, as banners of Phasma. Um, Phrasma. Um, all of these sort of swirling spiral symbol you're seeing around. She leads you up the steps um, and one of the, they're called Grave Guards. So a man in dark armor and with a black cloak holding a spear steps forward to challenge them. Uh, she takes him aside and speaks to him quietly for a moment and he nods and steps back. Um, you walk past him and into the cathedral. The cathedral itself is sort of uh, very gothic inside. Uh, there's a lot of skull motifs around. There is definitely a sort of uh, a feeling of, uh, of death. Uh, hanging over the place. Um, you hear an unusual sound from your left as you're walking down the main sort of um, walkway of the cathedral. Um, you hear a woman screaming from somewhere off to the left. Um, and then, but not like a, it is a scream of pain, but not like a death rattle or anything like that. And a little while later, you, a few moments later, you hear the sound of a baby crying um, from there. Um, since you, uh, Shania, you would know that um, Harazma is also the goddess of birth uh, and that um, many women will go to the temple in order to have their babies delivered. Um, you pass, as you um, pass by the altar, you go down a little side passage where there are some um, prisons, there are some, some barred cells to the start where you can see some people um, look uh, sitting by themselves. 
Um, one of them just runs up to the bar and just bangs his face against the metal as you go past. He's a, a, an old man with just riz- wizened old hair as he just stares at you going past. And goes, Death! Death! Death walks with you! There it goes! I see it! She, uh, uh, Valanthe, kind of pushes him back. Says, Please, do not disturb the guests. Come. We are not disturbed. It's not a bar. I'm afraid these are the. Uh, this is the third face of Phasma. She is also the goddess of prophecy, but of insane prophecy. It is a fate that awaits those of us who follow Phasma. One day we will be gifted with visions, but we will end up like the elders here. She can address just one uh, to the uh, the prison cells, uh, where one of them is just banging his mug uh, up and down along the bars um, as you all pass it. We keep them here for their own safety, and so that their visions may help people. The ossuary is just this way. She uh, takes you down a staircase, um, and then along a uh, a long passageway that looks fairly it looks ceremonial. It's wide, wide enough for. Uh, a number of people to walk, walk side by side. You imagine it's used for uh, coffins are probably carried along here. Um, she takes you to a set of large um, iron doors and opens them and you're suddenly hit with just a blast of cold air. Uh, and you realize that she's opened it out straight onto, um, and you just see the sky in front of you. And she's opened it out into the open air. Um, the pathway continues, still paved uh, and with a railing going across it. But as she leads you outside, you realize, slightly to your shock, that you are on the side of the Storval Rise itself. You are walking along the cliffside uh, on a path that runs uh, along here towards one of the enormous um, carved stone heads. She leads you down a spiral staircase that goes down the side of the head uh, and then around the front to its enormous open mouth where she guides you through. Um, those of you who are brave enough to look over the side to see the drop just dropping away um, hundreds and hundreds of feet down to the valley below where the river was where you first arrived it leads you in through the mouth of the great stone um, carved god um, and into the ossuary itself um, the level she leads you into to start with is incredibly clean and immaculate once you let it sit in there uh, she has to get you past several layers of grave guards um, each one she speaks to and they let you pass you get, you get the feeling that outside is un very rarely permitted in here. Um, These areas are incredibly clean. You can see that there are uh, a lot of caskets lined along the walls everywhere you go. In many places there are actually bodies um, that are resting um, on slabs. They look freshly dead. They look uh, almost as if they did in life. Um, Which, uh, Velda, would you like to make a knowledge arcana check? Yes. Uh, That would be... 22. Uh, these bodies are under the effect of a gentle repose spell, uh, mm. is what you imagine. So they are being magically preserved uh, so as to not um, decompose. Uh, many of them are, they're all wearing sort of jewelry or, or expensive looking clothing. She leads you down uh, a couple, about three flights of stairs through floors that look exactly the same as this. If you've ever been to like an archive or something, it's like this. They're just going down level after level, and there's just row after row of these um, sarcophaguses and, and bodies laid out. Uh, they get down to the the bottom floor. She takes you um, down a long corridor lined with corpses until she gets to a a wooden door that she opens and takes you into a section of it which is not quite so uh, well uh, well managed. It's darker, um, there's a little bit of dust on the ground uh, and she takes you around uh, to where there is a large stone door. Uh, There is a keyhole in this door. She turns and says, This is the part of the ossuary where the bodies have been disappearing from. This was the door that was opened. Beyond this lies the unexplored level. Uh, she takes the key and puts it in the lock and turns it. There's a distant sort of clunking, and then the stone door moves and opens. Uh, and you can see the taste of stale air as it comes out of it. It is pitch black beyond. It's, remember, there is no mechanism to open the door from the other side. 
save for the chime of opening. It has five charges. Make sure you have one to get out. If you use all of them, you will need to find another way out of the lower levels. We will not open this door under any circumstances from this side. There is no way to know that it is you that is trying to get out. And there are things in the lower levels that should not be allowed into the city. If any of you have any wish to go back out now, this would be the moment to do it. Beyond here, there is no return. These Save torches... Under yourself. Sorry. Please. Are these torches on the walls? Are these ever-burning torches? The ones in here? No. They are relit every day. These last for one day? May I take one of these now? You may. Thank you. I'll take a torch. Who, um... Who's got the uh, health portions? I was just about to say that. Oh, yeah, they. We got, I we got six, didn't we? Right, we got six. Um, so I to <coughs> divvy them up, uh, uh, one each, and then an extra one to the squishy guy. Yeah, sounds about right. <coughs> Who's the squishy guy? That's you, sir. You. Oh, <laughs> ah. Um. Uh. Now, uh, out of character, I presume the uh, the the bell, the chime, is an arcane device. It is a magical yes. item. In that case, magic. I will take the chime. If no one else objects, I don't believe anyone else can use arcane devices. <coughs> Was it a light wound they gave us? Yeah, these yeah. potions. Yeah. Were yeah. they just light wounds, really? They are light wounds potions. All right. Q. Nerissia. Yes. You got a map? No. That is part of why you're going down here. Yeah, I just thought I, I, was think, I think the clue then she said it was the unexplored level. Um, all right. Just, just putting right, that one. I'm huh? sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a bit nervous. I'm going to be honest. It's okay. You've got me, Fulton Battlestone, and my great axe, and I'm going to chop off all the zombies' heads. Good. Like you said, that's the one you, that you were looking after. Well, no, that was that was I was caught by surprise. Yes, and the friend one that should I says the uh, shuffles. Uh, I oh, mean, yeah, I, yeah. I chopped off that one. There. Sorry about that, Fulton. Sorry, I just. I'm all right now. Okay, good. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so right. I'll probably be sending to you, Karagor, if that's all right. Um, I've got you. I've got you, Velda. Thanks. You squishy, squishy purple man. Do you see him? Yeah, I see him. Yeah. Do you see all oh, of us? Oh, wait, is, is that what you're asking? Do you want me to all... I just... Uh, no, I don't do it just, like, off the top of me. I no, see no, you, Danger it's... Club. I see all of you. I see you individually. I see you there, Velda. Quivering, but actually quite dependable in battle. I see you, um, diplomat. Chatter. Soother. I see you, Fulton. Making up for your amends with blood and, and, and rage and violence. I see you, Shania. Angsty, maternal keeper of death that you are. I see the fucking danger club right here. I fucking see us. With that, carried yeah. off, nods at Narissia and steps forward into the darkness. Okay. Let's it's, form up. I go. Is the, um, I walk in. It, that <coughs> is the door open? Yeah, yeah, she's opened the door. Oh, she's opened the door for us. As I learned from that, by the way. No, no, I'm sure she said we had to use one to get in. So to get out. To get out, we used the... Yeah. The she, uh, yeah. Once you last, Velda, you step into the darkness. This is the last one. Um, lit. Uh, the only light coming from M's torch currently. Um, she does this. Good luck. Uh, and she pushes the door closed. Uh, as the last crack of light disappears from it, you are reduced to only the light of the torch. Here. You hear the clunk as she relocks it. Uh, and as you look at the door, you can see now you can't even see the join where the door was anymore. There is just a symbol of Phrasma carved into what looks what otherwise seems to be a, a stone wall. Wow, oh, this so. door is very magical. So, First thing. So Velda goes and, and stands in the middle of the group and says, uh, <clears throat> No, I, I'm sure I don't have to say this to everyone, but um, we should be highly suspicious of everything. And uh, Velda, you still, got, you still got Quill and Paper, mate. Oh yes, I do. Yes. Great. Can you be making us a map as we go down? Well, that's that's what a cartographer does. I can try. I mean, just a rudimentary map. So we've you got know, a rough just idea. Lines and a line. You know? like, it's, it's not, well, I'll try. It's not going to be very good. Don't, but, mate, so. don't worry, mate. If it's beyond you, if it's beyond your capabilities well, as a master no, no, of the no, arcane, no, I then should, I can get uh, somebody else to do well, it. Do well, you know what I mean? I'll do it. Do a map. I think we should. I also think we should leave some sort of trail. But like. Like, like what? Like, I've got no bread for crumbs. Yeah, in case we yeah, need to... I'm full on elven bread. In case we need to run it's back. still full. <laughs> you ate six days worth of that bread. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Have we got anything we can use? I think a map will suffice. Yeah, I do not want to be necessarily followed by things either. Yes, exactly. Might draw attention. I think so maybe just the map. Kraken, Velda, can you do that? What? Okay. Oh, the map. The oh, map. The map. The map. Yes, yes, sorry, we talked about a lot of things. After and we're going to need your know, dancing lights at things. various different times. A lot mm-hmm. of things. Okay, okay, let's all right. go. All right, we so press into the darkness, yeah? Should we? Should Me we? Um, go. Should we? Go. Wait, wait, wait. Now, sword we, drawn, we, M. Sword drawn. Okay. Hang on a moment. Should we walk in silence? Silence? <laughs> <laughs> Are you making this a character thing? Are you what? actually doing this? You're actually going <laughs> to... 36 episodes in. <laughs> yeah, just all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm, I'm merely embracing my self-nature. I, and also, no pranking about, okay? Yes, definitely Don't no pranking. That goes for you, so Val, right? No, yeah. no, but, I, but I'm, I'm serious. We, we have no idea what might be in here, so would it be better to get the drug? Remember what happened in the, on the I half-light path? I have any idea of what's in here, but, you know, it's not very nice. Em no, whispers to Fulton, were well, you just going to trip Velda up? Hey, it was good. Yeah, was I can yeah. see you, you know. I do have dark light vision. Yes, I see you pulling that face as well. <laughs> we just head to the most dangerous fucking place. <laughs> and we're always just pissing about <laughs> straight away. Six danger club. So I, Come. It, is how this is going to go, right? Me and Shania are up front. I think we've got the best uh, vision. Yeah, okay. Out the, out the lot of us, right? Um, I then, have dark vision as well. Oh, yeah? Hey. You've not got low light vision? No, dark vision. I'm the only one with low light here. Is it? That's why I got the talk. I was oh, born in the darkness. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Molded by it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't see the light until you I was born in a dark. You were born in a very nice middle to upper class uh, upbringing. Yeah, you're right. Actually, I was. Yeah. You told me it was dark though. You said it was dark. So yeah, yeah, the house yeah. was quite club. Can we just for one bloody minute? <laughs> so me and Shania, right? I can see in the dark yeah. as well. And then uh, squishy man in the middle, right? I wish you could stop calling me that. Purple, no, I'm squishy, squishy man. <laughs> squishy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and with with him in the middle, we're gonna get torch bearer. That's that's M. Um, yeah. Fault and I reckon you should bring up the rear. Is that all right? Hey, I'll bring up the rear. Because as we go, I'll be checking for traps and that as well. Can I make any sort of perception check? A perception check to see if I can see anything or find anything around us right now. Um, you don't really need to make a perception check to look right. around in this room. Uh, right. There's not very much to see. Um, so you you shine your uh, your torch around. It. Definitely, this area is not used. It, like there is dust okay. over everything. Um, it's very different to where you it's similar in architecturally to the area you just came out of you can see there's a short passage which then ends with a stone spiral staircase that just drops through the floor ahead of you going further down as we start moving I'm going to do that sort of um, army style you know you know you see in those Vietnam movies where they're like the person at the back sort of like so, sometimes you know, circles around, looks behind them as they're walking back as well. That was cool. a fortunate dwarf. <laughs> He's watching us six, yeah? <laughs> when I was in the Danger Club, I got bit... Now, wait, listen. Now, listen. I've listen been having a think thing. about those um, zombies we fought, yes? The ones with the pipes. Yeah. Are we, we d- walking as we're walking? As we're walking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You only walk a few paces before you reach this spiral staircase, which appears to be the start going down the staircase. So as we're going down the staircase, Velda says... Quietly. I've had a thought about those zombies, and I really don't think the arrows did anything. I'm going to be honest. Um, I, I know you bought some fancy arrows, but I don't think that's the way to get them. I think slashing them or, sort of, you know, whacking them, that seemed to do the most. Um, yeah, but well, arrows might not be the so best. So your planning is whacking and slashing, yeah? Well, with the whackers and slashers amongst us, yes, yes, I think so. All but, right. But, I mean, but we I know can we all sort of, whack and slash. Well, yes, I know, but I knew we, we also you know, do a bit of shooting of the bows, but... Um, have you got any sort of slashy weapon? No, prodding. no, but I have got magic, and the magic seemed to work quite well as well. True, very yes. true. Why didn't you, like, buy a dagger or something? Well, I'm just not very good with that sort of thing. Or like yeah, any scrolls that have like some kind of fire. Well, they're quite expensive. What about like Turn on Dead or something like that? Mm. What about like Holy Symbol? <clears throat> well, Holy, I'm I've not. Got I'm not religious. Holy symbols on my body. Yes. Yeah, yes, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really religious. I'm afraid I wouldn't know what to buy. So useless then. But no, you just call me useless. No, I mean I'm just you. You infer that you might be useless. As no, I, you are making your way <laughs> down the staircase. <laughs> Best conversation to have. <laughs> um, just as uh, as you're done saying this, something drops from the um, from the ceiling above. So, like, was hanging onto the bottom of the staircase. Effectively, you went under it. Um, it waits for all of you to pass by and then drops on the top. Uh, 
Uh, what, is your, um, what is your flat-footed armor class, Fulton? Uh, it is 18. Uh, okay, that's good to know. Because uh, he got a natural 20. Uh, so he's got a roll to confirm. Does not confirm, but it is a hit. So, a creature that looks like... Sort of uh, like a worm-like creature. It has a, a thick body. Uh, its head ends in a sort of toothy maw. Uh, and then at the top of its body, uh, at the bottom, uh, bottom rather, the other end of the head, it spreads out into kind of uh, a leathery kind of span, so like a big umbrella, like it can kind of parachute to town, um, with little claws, <coughs> a tentacle claws at the ends of all of it. It drops down and just bites onto the top of Fulton's head with its teeth. <laughs> Uh, Not my crown! <laughs> <laughs> Protected by the crown. into the crown. Um, <laughs> Still <laughs> right, right, this right, undead right. clown. <laughs> my mind, man. Saved, <laughs> saved by the king of the carnival crown. Uh, dealing uh, 10 points oh, of damage. Shit. First attack, max damage. Uh, and. It is going to attempt to. Uh, it's going to attempt a grapple. Uh, it's not great. It's fifteen against your CMD. My is sixteen. Sixteen. You manage to th- pull it off your head before it can get a, uh, a grip, and it starts flapping around you. Uh. And we're going to roll for initiative. Oh, oh, oh shit! It's the first creature. Oh no! That's good, but also Ooh. bad. I rolled a natural twenty. Which means I'm not going to get one in combat. Uh-huh. Oh, no. All right, who's got over 20? Me. 22. Wow, a lot of... Uh, yeah. Uh, over 20. Yeah. What, what have we got? Uh, who's got... What's... Uh, Vel- what have you got, Velda? Uh, Velda got 21. 21, Karagor? 22. Karagor. Probably couldn't hear any of those ones. Sorry, 22. That's uh, so I got 20. You got 20. Fulton got 9. Uh, Shinar, I got 15. All right, so we're going to have... Uh, if I got it right, Karagor, Velda... M. Shania. Um, and then Fulton bringing up the rear. That's fine, you're only the one getting your face chewed. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're the most <laughs> shocked of everyone. Uh, so, Caragor, uh, now you are at the front of the party, are you? Mm. So you will be down and around the staircase. Mm. So you can't even see. Well, you can hear this from behind. The staircase, however, is only wide enough to go single file. So. Those who are at the front are going to be in trouble. Who is next after before Fulton? Who is it? Uh, um, probably be. So it was. It so was probably because Fulton's right at the back. Fulton's right at the back. So it's me next to Fulton. So it's you next to Fulton. Yeah. yeah. M- so it's Caragor and uh, so it's Caragor, then Shania, then Velda, then M, then Fulton. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. believe that is case. Okay. Yes. Cool. That M is in melee range right, of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Velda can see it. But Shania and Caragor, you are down Wait, around the bend. So. Um, so yeah, it is quite hard for you to do it. Caragol, what would you like to do? How much space is there on the stairs? Uh, like I say, it's about five feet wide, so it's it's only enough really to um, for one person. You can switch positions uh, with people uh, as a move action and sort of gradually move up. But uh, not, I can't switch positions with, let's say, Velda. Not. Uh, you could use your full round to do that. But um, I wouldn't be able to attack. You wouldn't be able to attack in this round, no. And it would mean Velda was not able to see the creature either. What about just shooting an arrow off the ceiling at an angle and hoping it hits the thing on Fulton's head? I will let you try that. Sick. I'm going to do that. All right, go ahead. Can I study the target? No, because you don't even... You just you're not based on hearing... I can't a, even see blah, 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 I, Come from the ceiling. I knew what the answer was. I just wanted to see how outraged with the thing got when I suggested Go on, make your ricochet yeah, right. shot. Twang! Oh, it came out the dice tray. Oh, and it wasn't good. Do I count that? It fell out the dice tray. Yeah, yes, you count tray. it. Oh, okay, then it's, um, it's a seven in total. It's a seven in total. You fire the arrow into the wall, and the arrow just breaks against the stone wall. Um, you wonder why that would have worked. I don't see it. <laughs> Velda, uh, looking, literally just kind of peering back around the corner, you can see this thing just flapping around um, Fulton's head. Oh, disgusting. Uh, pew, pew. And I'm going to ray of frost Ray of frost, go for it. You know it. Pew, pew, pew. Um, any other spells? Hmm? I've not got any other spells. Well, I'm not going to use them on the first thing we find, this little flappy, leathery thing. Uh, that is a 19. 19 is a hit. Yay. Uh, that will be a, a D4. It's one point of damage. A single 
a single point of damage. Yeah, pew! It's pretty powerful. All right, you blast the creature with a tiny ray of frost, dealing one point of damage. That's, uh, that's good, that's good, that's a good start. Um, you know, I'm not gonna... Um, I would also like to... Yeah? I would like to shout in response to Caragor's uh, uh, sort of statement. Um, it's a weird leathery thing that's just dropped off the ceiling. Keep your eyes up. Okay, you blast it with a ray of frost. You shout that. Uh, and then... Uh, uh, yeah? Well, can I make a knowledge uh, nature check, maybe, to, or dungeoneering? To uh, knowledge dungeoneering. Nature. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, it's knowledge, 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 nature. This one. No. Oh. Okay. Knowledge, knowledge nature. No, knowledge nature. Have you got ranks in all the knowledges? Yes. It is. Uh, it is one of my core skills. Whoa. It's a good roll. Yes, uh, it is a good roll. Uh, that would be twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. I know uh, it's our secrets. It is a dark mantle. Dark mantle. So it's a creature that lives. Uh, it's a creature that lives on ceilings. It <laughs> drops ceilings. down and attacks things. It has no. It is not particularly strong. Um, but if it takes you unawares, obviously it can be. It, it will probably, most likely, try and latch onto somebody uh, and try and gradually engulf them. So. I, Just out of character, I swear I've heard of these in some old monster manuals back in the day. And are they like fucking horrific? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> They are, it's a classic trope, isn't it? Things flopping down with teeth. Yeah, right. M, what oh, are we going to do? Teeth. Well, the old nine ring brawn sword is in uh, oh, M's brawn sword. Brawn sword. <laughs> brawn brawn sword. sword. <laughs> <laughs> is that like a sword, but it's manufactured by a by famous brawn, shaver yeah. company? <laughs> <laughs> just get it out, it goes. It's got four <laughs> blades. Just uh, yeah. and a little soft one. Right. Just, to, just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. just to tidy up just the old side burn. Aloe vera on the side, yeah. Hello. The yeah. old nine ring broadsword is in M's hand. <laughs> right. The old nine ring. Uh, here we go. It is an 18. 18 hits. All right. It's the best a half health can get, isn't it? Four. Uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Three points of damage. No, take that last comment back. <laughs> Three points of damage. Cool. Uh, that means it is its go. Yay. Cool. Uh oh. Um, it, for its action, rather than attacking, casts darkness. Uh, the whole air, the whole um, corridor goes pitch black. Uh, the torch that you're holding goes out, uh, and all of you are plunged into supernatural darkness. Uh, so even those with dark vision cannot see through it. All right. Shania. Oh, oh right. Oh crap! Now I've got to do something. Mm. Um, <laughs> That's the game. Uh, yep, that is the game. <laughs> that is definitely the game. <laughs> I was thinking. Oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I definitely know what I'm going to do. And then we got put into darkness, and now I definitely don't know what I'm going to do. Um, ooh, well. God, I guess um, I will. Okay, I've got a thing here. <clears throat> oh, gee, that's no use. Um... It's <laughs> 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 a super exciting <laughs> business. Um, I, I, I have punch good, into darkness. Before literally you just... make your decision, I have what? good news for you. What is it? Uh, the darkness spell which it used. This version of it does not counteract dark vision. Excellent. Ah, so, so M is in a lot of trouble from this, unfortunately. Okay. But M, M, you can see nothing. Everyone else, cool. you can continue yeah, yeah. to oh, see. Well, Everything kind is... of drops to sort of black and white because um, it's your dark vision. But yes, you okay, can still see. Okay, so like see. Predator style. Yeah. There's a change of stuff, but nothing really changes. Yeah. Um, in that case, it didn't know that. Um, I level my heavy crossbow. Um, you cannot see it. What? I can't see it. You can't yeah, see it. You're at the, the front. Start You're around the corner. Ah, right. Okay. Um, in that case, I shout, What the fuck is going on? All right. Um, cool. That's it. Fulton Battlestone. Swing my great axe at it. Now, you've missed a lot recently. Oh. Come on, is it time for a, is it no. time for a hit? No, it isn't, Dan. Uh, that's a natural fumble. Is, is what, what, was the second, what was the second to hit roll? It's, uh, 
Ten? Yeah, that's a that's a first oh, 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 twenty. Oh my god. Uh, it's it's alright. Slashy it's melee, so um you provoke an attack of opportunity from all adjacent opponents. Oof. Oh there we okay. go. Right. It's alright. So it's just the one. Just not the one. Too bad. And you have acted now, so you're not flat footed anymore. Not I think your I think your AC is about the same. Yeah, it's not Miss. Um, so you just wave at it with your axe, but you're shocked with the sudden change of your vision, um, and you just clang the axe against the wall. It tries to bite you, and you jump back quickly um, and avoid its attack. So, oh dear, Caragor still out of range. So, um, uh, what kind of move action could I take that would get me in range? Like I say, you could do a move action to if uh, if Shania is willing to switch places with you. You can take a move out. I like to take a move action to switch places, uh, and then if Velda is uh, willing to switch places with you, you can do that to switch places. Him with each step, because of how cramped it is, um, you're going to need a is five a feet. I could squeeze past him five feet of yeah. space for the sake of for the sake of the rules of Pathfinder. Everything is described as five feet, uh, unless it is physically too small to move. Uh, but so you what cannot. What you're saying is, Caragor can slip in between the rules. <sighs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm saying you need two uh, move actions to replace Velda if both he and uh, Shania are willing to step aside. Okie okay, dokie. Well, I guess I, I can't really do anything, James. Okay. What do you know? I mean, what do you, 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 you think, James? What are you going to do next turn? <clears throat> well, this is your turn. Um, however, you've okay. seen what I have done this turn, and that will probably be what I do the next turn if I remain in my place. Okie doke. I'm going to switch up with Velda if that is okay with Velda I think that's fine yep okie dokie is it like a, one of those cartoon things where I reach out grab each other's head and we just do the whoop whoop whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like the old switchy whoop, whoop. okay you spend your your turn kind of pushing your way past Shania and Velda My. Uh, and you replace Velda in the uh, in uh, in the middle of the party thanks and not a standard so, action but a bonus action I study that target okay, yep you can see it and you can now study it Just, can you study as a bonus yet I think you need to I think you're it's a move action a move? it's a move currently I think you need to be a little higher level before yeah, it's a, cool, before cool, as a bonus yeah cool cool as I was then just so. to clarify I'm now so it's now so Velda you Shania, now can't, Velda yeah so now um, Velda you can't see the creature but it's Shania at the end Shania is at the front yeah right, so you're not yeah, you're yeah, not yeah, staring fine. into the abyss of death uh, no, 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 I just, just as I got it in my head, cool. uh, but yeah. otherwise it really would have been like a whoop, that yeah. make those head. Okay, uh, do you That's want to do dead. anything, Velda, while you're there, or are you going to it's just It's not my go, tight? is it? It is your go now. Oh, it's my go, okay. Um, uh, and from my knowledge check, I didn't learn any weaknesses of this creature? You did not learn any particular weaknesses, no. Right. No, you don't believe it has any particular strengths or weaknesses. Hmm. I... Will... Mm. What's it going to be? Well, I was wondering if, like, you know, could sort of pass it down the line, you know, so it's in the middle. <laughs> Just chuck it a caracol, oh, and then we can all pass the parcel. Yeah, pass the creature, and then we can all uh, have a crack at it. Um, but in that case, I am not going to do anything. Okay, that's There's fine. M. Uh, so you are in the dark. You think you know where it is, but you're not 100% <coughs> sure. Well, I think I know, so I'm going to take a swing. Okay. Uh, Make an attack roll. <laughs> All right, false turn. <laughs> hey, yeah. Nice. Love that. All right, so I'm going to take a swing in the same sort of place that I think it is. Oh, yeah. It is a 10. 10 total miss. You just swing in the darkness and you nearly hit Fulton. Uh, and just completely miss the creature. The creature attacks Fulton again. It's determined to carry away this dwarf and get him get some dwarfy meats, but he's not going to do it this turn because he only gets a 15. Um, Volton, your armor is just kind of keeping you. Is that the only thing keeping you safe? If you were Velda right now, you would be <laughs> dark mantle food. Uh, but he's just on your arm, just kind of gumming away at your uh, metal, trying, <laughs> trying to eat your uh, the armor. Your new banded mail is holding firm. Um, Shania, you're still uh, you're right at the front of the party now, so you're some distance away. Like I said before, what the fuck is going on? Um, and but also at the same time, um, taking out the heavy crossbow, loading it with one of my new um, flaming okay. bolts. Cool. Uh, so you spend your round doing that, Fulton. Come on, this Swing. is where we're going to do it. This is the one. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that's 
22. 22 is a hit. Coolio. Get that big D12 out. I haven't actually hit anything for ages. I, I, I'm not sure you've hit anything since Ilsurian. Like, yeah, there have been a lot so. of combats, but... Uh, that is nine, nine points, of, points damage. of damage. Very nice. Nice. All right. You belt the creature with your axe uh, and just take a huge section of one of the tentacles off it. Uh, it squeals and just spits blood and muck over you and just keeps and then flies into a panic, flapping around you. Uh, Caragor. I study that target and I'll leap at it with my cutlass. Uh, you cannot get into melee with it. You've okay. got M in the way. You can do range. Um, but <laughs> okay, I study that target and I, and I shoot it with me longbow. All right, go ahead, make your range attack. Okay, twang. Mm. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Are you including the um, study target? Are you also including the minus four for shooting into melee? Uh, no. Okay, cool. I'll put that on. So that's so back down to eighteen. 18? Yep. Exactly a hit. Hey. Roll your damage. Five. Five. You put an arrow straight into the center of its maw and it just collapses onto Fulton's arm and then down and lands there and lands <coughs> twitching on the <coughs> ground. Well. Is it dead? Hey. What the fuck is going on? That was that then, wasn't it? Um, I go over and retrieve my arrow from it. Okay. You <coughs> Out of the well, then you you wear it well. Uh, uh, the mantle, uh, the, the crown. Is the, the um, I told you what the name was. Yeah. looking quite chewed. Is the light back? Oh, oh wait. Uh, oh. It's got Can sort you... of some monster dribble what on it. What is it? What is it? What does my crown and my 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 lion head look like? Is it's it? it's oh. fine, well, Fulton. It's, it's, it's all right. It yeah, like maybe you will not be able to take it off again. It's just, just okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. Oh, Danny, the Danny's the, the light back. Just oh, uh, you will need to relight. A to uh, you need to light a new torch or a lantern of some kind if you oh, want right, to get okay. some light back. I've got I've got a torch, Em, if you want one. I've, I've got, got a, a tinder twig. Yeah. What you got? I've I got a tinder a twig. If you want to a tinder twig, so we can relight this torch. Yeah. Yeah, just to save the others. Yeah. Let's do that. Good. Yeah. All yeah. right. You take the tinder twig, strike it across the wall. Strike it off my 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 stubble on my nice. chin. Nice. Um, and light, relight the torch from it. Did I just hear you do that off your cheek? Yeah. So badass. I am. <laughs> Gonna, uh, I kick the dark mantle on the way out. <laughs> you all, from where you are, you all have to basically go back up the stairs <laughs> a few steps so Caragor can kick the dark mantle and then you all go back down the stairs. Another one falls down. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ten of them. <laughs> um, Papa! <laughs> <laughs> just as we're going off, uh, Velda looks at Fulton and says, um, your your crown looks like shit, but uh, uh, give it over. Uh, I lean towards I lean towards Velda and I cast mending on your crown and on your <laughs> lion's head, stuffed lion's head. Is this a cantrip? Oh. And then the camera. Is this a little cantrip, or is this it a is spell? A cantrip, yeah. Right, right. Did yeah. you just say I got you, fam? Yes. Oh. I got you, <laughs> fam. Something made me feel a shiver for the bus. Yeah, <laughs> don't, oh, don't, don't say that. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> after a bit of walking, having won your first fight in the Godsmith Lottery, uh, you make your way down. Uh, the uh, f the f uh, flight of stairs finally ends uh, and opens up into a large square room. Um, looking around, you can see that there are carvings all over the walls, um, which seem to be writing of some sort. Um, there are three stone doors here huge set heavy set stone doors very similar to the one that you entered through um, one to the north and then one each to the east and the west big sets of stone double doors they are closed and they are each of them is sealed with a symbol of Farasma uh, on the wall on each of them um, there are the carvings and things appear to be letters and words and things can I make a, a knowledge history check on yes, the carvings go ahead make a knowledge history so we're going to split oh. up right <laughs> 13. Uh, 13, you're not sure what they mean. Yeah, it's fascinating, but I, I don't know what these mean. Uh, can, should I make a sort of knowledge be, religion? Wait, wait, uh, no, it would be perception. Club, oh, club, club. Uh, isn't this just some of the doors we need to use the old chime on? Hey, we've got three, and... Well, no, I know, I was just trying to read the writing. Yeah, Shana, I can't read it either. Okay, can I make a perception check just to see in the ceiling? Yeah, sure. If there's anything out there. Yeah. 16. 16. 
Uh, Fulton, you don't find anything. The ceiling appears to just be so, uh, solid stone. Um, but you do find mixed um, in one corner of the room something scrawled um, in common. It's still... The writing still looks old. You're not a historian, so you don't know, but um, it doesn't look as old as these carvings in the walls. Um, it says, My heart beats on the wrong side of my chest. Or is it the right? Is left right? Or is it wrong? I don't know what that means, or why. Guys, come over and look at this. Mm, we all these it. fellas read it. Look. So, Fascinating. has what that got something to do with the doors there? I think so. So the heart beats on the wrong side of your chest. It normally beats on the left side of your chest. So that, does that mean if that's the wrong side, it would be the right side? So do we go through the right door? Yeah. I'm going to say this is correct. Wait, I think that was too easy. He's, he says some other stuff here. He babbles, doesn't he? Uh, the thing is that they're, if it's Wait, Phasma on that, they're about insane prophecies. So something in there is going to be right, but they're going to be a bit mental about it. Um, Velda would just like to read that again. If I could just could yes, you you yes, please. My heart beats on the wrong side of my chest. Or is it right? Is left right? Or is it wrong? I don't know what it means or why. I think it's right. I think you go on the left. Ooh, okay. Hang on, wait. Because it says the heart beats on the wrong side of the chest. Or is it right. right? Yeah, which would be the right again. Which is left. Read it again. I'll show, I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you what I mean. My heart beats on the wrong side of my chest. Or is it right? Is left right? Or is it uh, or is it wrong? I don't know what it means or why. Is, left, means about left. is left right yeah, or I mean, is it wrong? Does he mean left correct? Yeah. Not the right side. What he's saying is, <laughs> the riddle is saying, my heart beats on the wrong side of my chest. The right. Chest. Or is it right? The right. Is left right? The right. I agree with them. I so think we what they're saying, what they're saying is, what they're saying. I think that it beats on the wrong side of my chest, but is left the wrong side. That's what they're saying. I tell you what, us four have had to think about it. We've come to different conclusions. I think the master of thinking should probably resolve it. What do you think, yeah. Elder? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're the thinking well, man. You, you well, make the decision. You are the last to choose. Um, let me make an. So can I make a knowledge nature check mm -hmm. just to categorically know which side of the chest the heart is okay mm, that's not bad a 15 15 in a human the heart beats on the left so in a human the heart beats on the what left is 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 there a what is the race of the thing that's on the f on the floor there is nothing there oh there's, there's nothing just there. the writing no, so, it's just writing so, you, so somebody has been here at some point and has written something but you don't know where they went off Felder, can you yeah. do some like reverse calligraphy and try to ascertain the race of the person that wrote this Mm, Maybe we could all have a go, actually. I um, could do. That is linguistics. You need to be... I'm going to say you need to be trained in it to even try that. Fair enough, I'm not. Uh, let me have a look. I am so trained really in linguistics. Hard, but yeah, go ahead. Ooh, 18. 18? Don't know. Don't know. And I am trained in linguistics, so uh, it's very difficult. But uh, yeah, I, I, ascertaining the, the race of the creature that wrote a piece of text. Um, can I ascertain, though, from it... It, was the writing written in hurry? Or was it a hurried writing, or was it a sort it of? It doesn't look like it's not kind of like sort of drums or? in the dark. They are coming. Um, <laughs> it looks kind of I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not finished. Uh, obviously, it seems to trail off. So maybe whoever was wrote, writing it was part of a group and then got up and left. Um, Why were they but, writing it on the wall? But they were. Uh, they maybe were. Maybe for people that came in here again. I reckon it's a different race, maybe not human, and it's, you know, somebody has a beating heart somewhere else. Why would you, uh, well, what, what's the I think it's a double bluff. You know, I just think it's anything. one of the, it's too easy to, if it's a human, then we obviously know that, you know, well, obviously your, your not heart because beats we are on the left. On that and we are in disagreement, yeah? yeah. But what yeah, I mean, what they're, all they're saying is, is they don't know what side of the heart beat there is the wrong side, but they're feeling it in the left hand side. But we're also assuming. So we should go left. We're also assuming that this has something to do with the doors. We don't know. If yeah. It's got something to do with the doors at all. Might not be anything to talk about. The scrollings of a madman. Exactly. Why would anything mean anything? But here we are in front of doors, and they're talking about left and right. We have to make a choice. Yes. Yeah. Do you agree about this? I'd say left. I'd, I'd say right. I'd say left. I'd say right. Go on, Velda. Oh. 
Builder could just say straight on and screw it all. <laughs> my heart beats on the wrong side of my chest. Or is it right? Is left right? Is left the right side? So they're confused. Yeah, exactly. As to confused, if if left side, is the is right it? side, because they're, they're, so they're feeling the heart beat on the left, but they're not sure if that's the right, right. side that you're. Do you see what I mean? That's what they're saying. I think right. You think right? I mean, it could could be wrong. Don't know. All right, you have the casting vote. Let's if go it says right. My heart beats on the wrong side of my chest. Then it would be on the right. But I think that's too obvious. But they're sa they're saying that they feel th they're confused about whether it's supposed to be the left or the right. But they're saying that they're feeling the beat in on the left. But they're wondering about. But if you want to go right, I mean, I let's think it's, right. I think it's pretty clear that the person who wrote it isn't exactly sure. And therefore, all we can do is go over Zagatia, and we are three for the right, two for the left. We're going for Wait. the right. One more time. Velda, read it out again. Right. One more time. All right. <laughs> read it. One more time. My heart beats on the wrong side of my chest. Or is it right? Is left right, or is it wrong? I don't know what it means or why. Even if the left is right, it's still saying that left is wrong. Yeah, that's the thing. That's no, it's it not says. saying that. They're saying... Is left right. Is yeah, left so right? they're confused about... Well, it it's just someone that doesn't that know... That it's wrong. It's just someone that doesn't know what side of the heart it's supposed to be. They're confused. No, he they're makes saying, two confirmed things. He's sure about the right side, he's sure about the right side, then he's not sure about the left side. That's the three things in that. He, say, he says right is right mm. twice, and left is wrong, maybe, yeah. twice. I think we're getting. He sounds things. more consistent with the right than he does with the left. I, 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 I understand what I'm talking about. I think it's it's more talking about right as in correct rather than right side. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. So he says the right is right twice, and then he says is left correct. He says right is right, like well, quite pronounced, well, no, and then the second. I don't think I'm not sure because he says my heart beats on the wrong side of my chest. There he goes. And then he so says, he or, right. and then, but then he says, or is it wrong? And he's, again, he refers to the wrong side of the chest. Which would be the right. Yeah, but he doesn't know that. Whoever wrote this doesn't know that. Oh, That's what so we're saying. Sure. Because of the, what he's saying. What we can go on is go on in the sentences that we have here. And we've got super... But this super is the thing. But this is the confusing thing, Carrigal. I, I, I accept your logic. My heart beats on the wrong side of my chest, or right. is it right? Right. Is left right, or is it wrong? So it would seem to indicate... Because the heart beats on the left-hand side. But the, the the opening bit that doesn't specify what is what is it the first bit of that sentence it says what my heart beats on the wrong side of my chest exactly so it doesn't specify which side so it could be a different area so it doesn't have a doesn't be on the left yeah, hand side. Yeah, I mean, it could be a ghost that doesn't have any anatomy whatsoever. It could be another it from a different a dimension. It could be a just. Scene. It could be an ink. It could be Let's nothing. Let's go left. If we're, going, if we're basing it on left. nothing, we might as well take it all apart. But if we're basing it on what we think is a human or a humanoid, then most of them have got their heart in the left side of the chest. Let's go left. On your left. What do you think, Velda? Either way, I think. I mean, it could be nothing to do with these doors. Heart <laughs> beats on the wrong side of my chest. Or is it right? Indicating that their heart is beating on the left. Is left right? Makes or a decision, Velda. But I did, and then everyone decided disgusting. No, again. no, we didn't. You did. So, and so now we okay. say, let's go to the right. So it's three to the right, so, right? Okay. And Richard O'Brien starts playing a right. harmonica just <laughs> on the hallway. Shania goes to the right. Yeah, okay, Shania, you go to the right. It's made of stone. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't open. <laughs> you need to. And so, it opens the fucking door. <sighs> I say he's got this deciding vote. So left or right, Velda, last chance. There is a door in the middle, isn't there? There is a door in the middle. There is a door yes. in the middle. Maybe it could be the middle. <laughs> Why do we go middle? For fuck's sake! <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have driven a wedge between you guys when you had to choose <laughs> right, a call. On. Let's make a decision. Cause okay, why not the middle? Yeah, because. Well, you've got to sing. Let's go in the middle, then. Middle it is. What do you think, Carrigal? I mean, still think it's the right, but up to you, mate. So, right, I, think the, the, I think the right. will be filled with Left, you got the chime. Left, who wants to go left? Me and M. Connie, Connie who wants to go podcast, middle? Mate. Nobody wants to go well. middle. Who? You want to go no, middle? No, let's go right. I will go to the All right. All right, let's go right. Right, right it is. Okay. 
and I ting the chime. Okay, Velda, you bang the, uh, knock the chime against the seal. There's just a huge fucking beating heart behind it, Edgar Allan Poe, like... Uh, you uh, hit the seal, the, seal uh, the uh, chime rings out uh, around the room for a moment, uh, sending a clear note echoing around the hall. Uh, and then the seal or phasma begins to glow in front of you. The doors slide uh, aside, uh, revealing a dark passageway ahead. Um, and uh, as you're about to step forward, somewhere echoing off in the darkness, uh, you can't tell if it's from this door or the door behind you, or just somewhere out in the catacombs, you just hear a boom, boom, boom. And that's where we leave it for tonight. Oh, shit. That was riveting Should've audio left. for the people. <laughs> to left, left, lefty, left, 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 left. They are coming. <laughs> they are coming. <laughs> shit, bro. Oh. Literally, just, just give one choice and don't say what the stakes are. I, 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 I see where... I, I, I agree with Colin, though. I think... It,